Hello guys, welcome to the studio. Today we will take a quick look at three shortcuts on your Akai MPC devices that you might probably be overlooking all this while. So let's go. Welcome back. Let's talk about you pressing and holding shift on your Akai MPC devices. Do you take note of the three boxes that lit up on your screen? The timing correct, your metronome, and then your automation. If you are not holding down your shift and you press your timing correct, it will only show the screen, allowing you to manipulate some parameters or switch it on and off from here. Also, with metronome, it brings up the parameters and allows you to set it. The same thing with your automation. It changes from read to write. If you have your shift enabled, basically it allows you to enable and disable this with a single tab. You can en enable and disable it just straight up without having to go and tap metronome first, then maybe switching it, um, enabling it off or on and things like that, or off or on. You, get, you can basically just right here, hold shift and tap metronome to enable. Don't forget, there's also another method where you can actually use to enable or disable your metronome by pressing and holding the same shift and pressing your play start. It's metronome on, metronome off. So you can actually do that as well. So while shift and play start can do it for you, shift and the metronome itself can also do it for you. And it's applicable to all the MPC devices that is out there. Uh, the same thing with your timing correct. You know definitely on some other MPC devices, let's say you are using the MPC Live or the Live 2, some of them actually have the timing correct button that you can actually double tap to enable or double tap to disable. When you use the double tap to switch it off, it goes off. But when you use that same double tap to switch it on again, it will bring up the same settings that you still have to probably do close or something like that to it. But if you do this directly, it basically just turns it on and off without bringing the, up the extra setting, uh, you know, dialog box for you. And that is just basically it. Now, for this, you know, normally when you tap this, it's read and it's writing. But how about, let's say you've already done a certain kind of automation, but you want to hear what your work, your current project sounds like without the automation. And that is when this becomes handy. Just press and hold the shift and then tap the automation your automation becomes something like this. It doesn't have any R, it doesn't have W, it just goes this way. And what this means is now the automation is disabled, is not reading, is not writing. Because default mode, it's always reading, R. When you want to do an automation, you set it to W, which is the write. But now if you press shift and you tap on it, it disables the read and the write. As you can see even from here, the uh, button for automation went off. If I tap it again, it's programmed to read. And I tap again, it's programmed to write. But with a shift and this, it's gone. Do you understand? With a shift and this button as well, it goes off. So that's basically just what these buttons can do for you. You can use your screen just for the sake of those who do not have a standalone button for the read and write. What that will do for you is, if you already have any automation, it will not play it. It is that simple. Let me show you what I mean. If you listen closely to what I'm about to play right now, if you are listening using maybe like your headphone or a left and right speaker, you will notice that the audio went from left to right. The tap that I basically just put up, it moved from left to right. I automated it, right? And let's just play that and I will show you. You can also see my the pan that is doing that automation here. This is the pan that I automated. So when it gets back to start, you see the pan will move to the left and to the right. And by then, you will hear the audio on your left, on your right, and then it comes back into the middle. Now, all I need to do for you, for that not to work, I'll simply do this. You can see the pan no longer responds. And it means it just plays without the automation. And when anytime I want it back, I just enable it and then it taps left and right. So that's basically what that does. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.